indeed in New York. Good evening, it's great to have you with us here on a very busy Tuesday night. And we begin with that cruise ship scare, the same storm system that caused those deadly tornadoes rocking the massive Norwegian escape cruise ship off the Atlantic coast, leaving from New York City, terrifying passengers hospitalizing at least eight people. One passenger recording the chaos as a sudden gust of wind, 115 miles an hour, slammed into that 20-story ship. People hanging on as the ship tilted 45 degrees by some accounts, furniture sliding across the floor there. Ambulances were waiting when the ship arrived in port, and ABC's Victor Akendo leads us off from Port Canaveral tonight. Tonight, the harrowing video showing panic and chaos as massive wind gusts sent the cruise ship listing. According to one witness, it was at a 45 degree angle. Sending armchairs sliding. Passengers holding on to whatever they could. Tables careening towards them. And we just keep waiting for the whole boat to capsize at this point. That's how I feel. I honestly feel like we're going to die. Guys, some scrambling for safety, others terrified. And it was like a pretty steep incline to this boat, and it was literally like we were almost walking up an incredibly steep hill to try to get to the center of the boat. The Norwegian escape cruise left New York City on Sunday as a storm was hitting the East Coast. Wow, we all just went flying down. Just before midnight, winds hit of up to 115 miles per hour, the equivalent of a Category 3 hurricane gust. Parts of the ship in complete disarray. All of these chairs were over here. It was just sheer panic, like people running around, screaming, blood coming down people's faces, and just, I mean, it was truly like a scene out of the Titanic movie. It was so scary. The ship arriving in Port Canaveral, Florida, ambulances on the scene, passengers carried out by stretchers, at least eight hospitalized. All right, so let's get to Victor Rikendo live tonight from Port Canaveral, Florida, where that ship is now docked. And Victor, what is Norwegian saying tonight about that 115-mile-per-hour wind gust? David, the cruise liner says it was a sudden and unexpected gust of wind. However, forecasters have been tracking that storm as it moved east for days. Norwegian says that everyone who was injured was treated immediately, and the ship will continue on with its trip as planned tonight. David? All right, some frightening moments there, though, for sure. Victor, thank you. We're going to turn next tonight to see...